Hello and welcome. My name is Joltron. This is Game Dev Tycoon. Today in this beginner guide, I'm going to be going over marketing and how it affects your games. So in order to do this, we're just going to start development on a new game here. Go ahead and make a sci-fi sci-fi RPG on the 3D200 game engine, the one I made. And let's call it Science Oops, Science Fried. Okay, and for this we will just do now this is one thing, okay? For marketing, a small one will not get you too much attention. Medium will get you significantly more attention. Now with more attention that gives you more hype and more hype means more sales, whether it's good or bad. So we'll go ahead and do a medium. We'll see if we can make it. I am a little bit low on cash and cutting it close, so we'll see if I don't go bankrupt before I make this game. Alright, now that we've got stage one up, we will leave it where it's at because we're doing RPG. Bam, go like that. Alright, for marketing now. You can start marketing right now if you'd like. You can market at any point in development. And there are one, two, three, four different things you can choose to market with. I like to start with the small one. When I am this low on cash, we're just going to do that one. Gonna do some magazines. Going to start building up this hype that will slowly build throughout the development of my game. And we'll just watch it go up. Now the more hype I had, I have for the game means more sales. As I said before, gonna turn dialogues down a little bit. Don't need them that high. Get some more level design in there. Okay, and this hype's just gonna keep building up. Now the more fans you have, the faster hype you build, the more hype you'll get. And in turn, more sales. Like I keep saying. Okay, so we're going to turn sound down a little bit, and we'll keep those where they're at. Even if I make a game scoring about 5 or 6, it should still do well, because it is a medium game. Well, maybe not well, but it'll do okay, it'll keep me afloat. Alright, now this is another big part of marketing. If you can get this uh, game convention, the G3 booth, if you can get that up when your game is still in development, you're going to get a significant boost to your hype, and I'll show you right now. Okay, it's going to be about a month away, so we're going to have to wait. Now, sometimes you will lose hype over this, but you will see how much I gain from it and see that it really is worth it. Here, we're still at 14 hype, and week one, after week one's up, my booth will be going up. Got two bugs, can iron those out. Let's see how many fans we get. And this is marketing right now. This is marketing the game that I'm developing right now. So you always want to try to wait. Don't release your game a week before that. It'd be absolutely horrible. And there's a lot of hype on it. Alright, there we go. As you can see, it's up to 80 already. Going to finish it. Don't want to lose too many. It was dropping because it had been sitting there for a while, unreleased. Oh, well, that's not a great topic. Maybe I've just done it so many times it's not telling me it is anymore. Alright, so let's see how it did. Oh wow, it's actually a pretty damn good one. So as you can see, that game quality achieved a higher rating than my previous set game quality. Now I'm going to have to beat this one's game quality. So anytime I want to get a high score now, it's going to have to beat the quality of this one in order to do so. Now that marketing really is going to help out with the sales on this one because it is a high quality one and it's going to get good reviews, got good reviews, so that means more people are going to buy it and more people are going to buy it simply because of the hype behind it. And yeah, I owed the bank a little bit of money, but that's okay, I just had a hit. We're going to make tons of money off of this one. Look at that, 150, 200,000. 300,000, 1.6 million already. Excellent. So there you have it. Your marketing affects your game sales. And always make sure if G3 is coming around, try to hold back on releasing because you saw I went from 14 hype all the way up to 80 hype just from a small booth. So it is well worth it. You could even do a marketing at the beginning 
and then at the end of your development you can do another marketing campaign and that'll boost it up just a little bit more hell you could just keep doing marketing throughout the whole thing if you wanted that would be a little bit of a waste of money because it doesn't give you that much when you keep repeating it um what oh yeah we'll sponsor so that's hype that's fans it's good all right so there you have it that is marketing pretty simple just make sure that you catch all of the events if you have g3 coming up don't miss it hold off on releasing your game so that it can get some hype off of g3 and use marketing to work for you don't spend too much on marketing because if you don't make that much money off the game then you just wasted that money all right thanks for watching my name is joltron this has been game dev tycoon beginner guide marketing strategies i'll see you next time